Rich Side Canine, house pets to working dogs, obedience to protection, coming to you from downtown Leesburg, putting in work every day, all day, round the clock, exposing the dogs, environmental neutrality, environmental conditioning, make the dogs calm, make the dogs confident to everything. Sorry, I got a uh, crazy mountain wall behind me scratching if you hear that noise. Anyway, guys, here's this, uh, um, having a brain fart here, filling a blank for the breed, a uh, Border Collie, sweet Lord help me. Anyway, here's a Border Collie. This dog, when it came, is it still is a reactive dog, a little bit nervous dog, but an awesome dog, full of love, um, just wants to please, real, real good, and has come so far as far as leash manners, leash walking, um, on leash, off leash control, all the good stuff, and I'm um, really, really proud of this dog. His ability now to tolerate stress is, is tenfold better than what it was. Before, he would get very stressed very quickly, and um, it wasn't good, but anyway, he's come so far, doing really, really well, having a good time. So again, guys, if you're a dog trainer, dog training company, um, enthusiast, pet owner who likes to train their dog, get your dogs out, guys. Walking on this sidewalk with all these cars right next to us is worth 10 times the value of just walking on a, a trail or you know an open wooded area or something like that. So get them out, expose them, build them, make them confident, let them be happy in the stimulus, let them deal with the stimulus, let them deal with the stressors of life and work through it. So here with the Shepherd, this is a uh, urban, or not an urban, but a search and rescue certified dog. So we're doing a lot of urban neutrality. I know this town like the back of my hand. I know damn near every cut through alleyway. Um, I just know it. So I feel comfortable training here and I feel really comfortable having the dogs back here. Really good for some of these dogs, guys, to get themselves exposed to an environment like this that they just don't get on a daily basis and that I cannot replicate at the house. Getting them up into confined spaces, etc. This Shepherd's doing fantastic. Um, her obedience is skyrocketing at a rapid rate. You see she's a little bit stressed right there with the yawn, but her obedience is skyrocketing at a rapid rate and her environmental conditioning is just rapidly accelerating from where it was. So she's doing really, really well. And um, again, I get her into as many tight confined spaces as possible just to show her like, it's all good, just move forward. Ignore all the smells in here. It's it's very contaminated with odor, tremendous amount. Ignore it, stay on task, stay on point, move forward. Um, really good. I like this sidewalk area right here. I use this area for all dogs when I do a board and train. It's an area where there's all, most of the time there's a lot more people, but there's always cars. And we can put the dogs right next to cars, but there's a traffic light, so it's always a pretty good spot. Right here, this is pretty good. So this dog is dog reactive. And, um, Moves past, tail up, a little bit of concern, but moves right past. And into my little buddy. Who's your little buddy? This is my little buddy. So this little guy's giving me fits uh, when he came, but we've had a lot of fun. I mean, truly a lot of fun. Sometimes people say they had fun with the dog. They really didn't. I had a lot of fun with this dog. And um, yeah, so we're getting out. We're getting around as well. And again, one of the things you have to do if you're training a lot of dogs at one time is give each dog the same level of motivation, enthusiasm, exposure repetitions all this stuff little switchback right there he fixed himself nice job and um this little guy uh <laughs> oh man he gave me fits but he's doing so well we're rocking and rolling dropping down into the basement areas of the parking garage down into the no goes and um bouncing back up he's doing well we're doing well he's a very confident dog and this little guy's dog aggressive and he'll bite a human but uh He's come really, really, really far. We're really proud of this guy. You, it's, it's funny if you see him around other dogs, he sticks that tail straight up in the air like a pointer. Uh, it's, it's pretty wild. Back here into a little cafe area. Um, pretty nice little spot back into the parking lot. And again, I always finish the walks with these dogs on this little strip because the cars are always stacked up right here. It doesn't really matter what time of day, 06 to damn 2200, there's cars stacked up here, running, going, radios, exhaust, all the stuff that can throw a dog off. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So jumping right into my least favorite slash favorite slash enemy slash buddy, this uh, yellow lab, who unfortunately, like a lot of different labs that come here, man, he has some uh, aggression issues. And um, super cool dog, very driven dog, a uh, little bit fearful of new environments. And through that, he projects that with aggression very, very quickly. But uh, the easiest way to deal with this guy with that is to keep him on task and hold him accountable, right? So this is a drill here. I use this wall. This wall is about 100 yards long. I'll use this wall often for dogs that get a little bit distracted because it forces them to pay attention, right? There's nothing hard about it. It's just a two foot wide ele elevated wall. It's a simple task for a confident dog. It's a very complex task for a dog that has some, some different issues. So 
we use it often. It helps the dogs to focus. It helps the dogs to, you know, keep their keep their thoughts on task and not on me sometimes. And um, really proud of him through a different cafe there, back up a different cut through. Um, really falling into his own. You can see him walking right now, tail relaxed, ears relaxed. People are coming up right here, these children. Uh, they just got off a bus and, uh, you know, he ignored them. He did great. Right here, guys, this is a big deal for him. Right in his presence of this little whatever this is, rat terrier or something, probably not what it is, but this little terrier over there pulling. Now, keep in mind what I just was doing, right? I had a hold of the leash and I was blocking him with my body clearly, but that's important, guys. This dog will, I don't want to kill that dog. So anyway, anyway back here to our Great Pyrenees Chow Chow Pitbull mix. Again, put him back on the wall. He has some of the exact same issues. And um, fear, fear transferred to targeted aggression. And if you try to break that targeted aggression, he will redirect back on the handler. Um, and right there, we had a dog that was loose in the yard next to us. He started lunging. We took immediate action. Um, dealing with it. The other, again, that dog's loose. I don't believe there's a proper fence there, so I'm not going to hang out. It was a rather large dog, and I don't want a bloodbath. So keep him on the move, keep him going. But after he lunged, snapped, we gave correction, got him back on task, and we're right back to walking. So uh, it was a successful event. Coming down here, passing some different playgrounds with some different distractions. Um, again, I love training in this area, and just due to my past, you know, very long time as a police officer, I, I, I know most of these cut throughs and switchbacks and alleyways and uh, areas to avoid, areas you're good to go through, and it's 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 good. It's where you feel at home. So one thing you'll learn when you're training dogs is you train where you feel at home. Anyway, guys, Ridgeside K9, house pets to working dogs, obedience to protection, guys. Let us know how we can help you. Give us a shout. You have a special dog. We are a special place. A lot of good qualified dog trainers out there, guys. Make sure you find one that works for you and with you. Let us know how we can help you.